Hello. A lot of our clients ask questions about Performance Max images. Um, how many do we recommend? What are the sizes, text on images, tips, etc. So here's a guideline for you. The first question is usually the sizes. Performance Max uses smart display sizes, so landscape and square will be your answer. Uh, the minimum specs for landscape is 600 to two, uh, 314, but we recommend 1200 to uh, 628, so double the sizes. This is for better quality images. And for the square, the minimum specs are 300 to 300, but I recommend 1080 to 1080. Uh, it's, there are two reasons behind it. One, the quality is better. And the second is you can always use the same image for your Facebook and Instagram ads. So I'm thoughtful like that. Um, let me make this bigger. So yeah, um, the next question is how many do we recommend? Actually, this is not a recommendation. The maximum amount you can upload into an asset group is 15. So you should use that. So seven square images and eight landscape images or vice versa. That works for you. Uh, the other question is. Uh, how about tax on images? Actually, it depends. Uh, do you have a B2C model or B2B model? Are you looking to create demand or harvest demand? Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say you are a, a boutique and you're selling uh, women's clothing. Then you should use lifestyle images that your buyer persona can relate to. Uh, put a small sentence on the image, uh, a hooky headline, maybe a discount an offer, a sales, anything that can just uh, generate that engagement. Um, four to five words, not a long one, not a small one. Just uh, the optimum is like four to five words inside an image. But let's say you, you have a B2B model. Uh, and of course, Google will also show your ads to B2C users then what, what you should do is instead of pulling people, you should be pushing people away. Let's say you are selling a product that where it's like um, $20,000, then use that in your image, put the price tag on the image or explain your services or offers, like use two sentences, even three sentences. So then, uh, so when a B2C user sees your ad, they will ignore your image. Um, Last but not least, uh, this is the most asked one, uh, to be honest. Like, can we provide any ex examples? Actually, you can find it on your own too. Let me show you how. Uh, let me put that. Okay. So go to Facebook library. And what you should do is select your country. I'm going to, I'm going to select Turkey. I'm going to use an example that I already know. I'm going to type my love boutique which is like my favorite boutique uh, in turkey so go down on the page go to the bottom as you can see these are launched in may and these are launched in april so try to go to the bottom of the page and try to mimic uh these like these are images like there are 20 percent discount on these images like lifestyle like i said uh showing the products um when you uh reach at the bottom you'll see the oldest active creatives which means they are working which means they are generating results still but instead of copying the same thing you should just uh mimic the logic behind that creative uh, even create a better version of it. So what you should do is put your uh, top five competitors name in the search tab, just search for them and just uh, try to find if you can find a a pattern behind that. So what are what are your top competitors using? Is there a style? Is, is it lifestyle? How many words they use? Um, is there an offer? Are they offering their uh, unique selling propositions? Um, so so, so use that. Um, 
yeah, I think that covers it all. So these are my suggestions. I hope it is useful for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it away, Kassim. Wait, before you go, I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.